Hey guys, so last week we talked about landforms during our social studies lesson. So this week we're going to be thinking about water sources. Okay, so we're going to read this book all about water sources. Okay, make sure you know the definition of a water source and the different kinds and what makes them and the characteristics of them. Okay, all right. A water source is water that is useful or could be useful. Water is an important resource because all living things need water. Without water, there would be no life on earth. Okay, so that's why it's really important. Man-made. Man-made water sources are something that a human created. An example of this is a swimming pool. There are also many man-made lakes and ponds. Something that is not man-made is natural. That means it's found in nature naturally, God made. Okay, so man-made are things that we make, water sources. First one is a natural resource is a stream. A stream is a water source with a current that is a lot like a river, but they are generally smaller. Usually you can just kind of walk across a stream. They're not as wide as a river. They don't flow as much. River. A river has a current and comes in many shapes and sizes. They might even have waterfalls. Eventually, these will empty into another body of water or an ocean. Okay. In most of the rivers, they start up in the mountains with the snow melting and they flow downward. The gravity pulls them down towards other bodies of water or the ocean. Okay, so you can see the difference between a river is much wider than a stream. A pond. A pond is a water source that can be natural or man-made. It is surrounded by land on all sides and is smaller than a lake. Okay, you can see you can walk all the way around a pond. They're a lot smaller than lakes. Okay, a lot of people will build these in their backyard and put some fish called koi in them. Okay, and we see ponds all around. And let's compare it to a lake now. A lake is made of fresh or salt water. It is larger than a pond and surrounded by land on all sides. These can be natural or man-made also. Okay, so you can walk all the way around a lake, but it's a lot, lot bigger. <clears throat> and then finally, the ocean. An ocean is the largest body of water and covers about 71% of the earth. That's almost three-fourths. It can have waves and is made of salt water. Okay, so if you took the salt out, it would not be an ocean. That's the main characteristics that make an ocean is their salt water. Okay, guys, read it again over. Make sure you understand it. I'm gonna put, I've got some videos next week for you guys to watch and on different um, landforms and bodies of water. And then you guys are going to do a cut and paste tomorrow based on this book. Okay, talk to you tomorrow.